What's going on Reef Builders? Jake Adams here and I have taken a nice leisurely drive up to Silverthorne, the mountains and through the woods just to get some fresh air and get that Las Vegas film off of me. I'm here with my buddy Evan. What's Yo, up Evan? What's up guys? He's got his Magna shirt and I thought it was coming <laughs> here to, to pick up a 72 Bowfront but it's uh it's looking a little bit crusty, <laughs> and so I'm not going to show you that. But then uh, it's got a really nice reef tank, and um, it's young. It's uh, restarted from an old tank. Two months ago. How old was your other tank? Uh, well, it had been in this location and didn't have a single coral in it before that. So I really say that that one was about four years old, four and a half years old. Uh, but I'd had the tank for going on 12 years by the time I tore it down. And how, how long have you had this tank? <laughs> well, I've had the tank since Magna in San Diego, so that's about two years, I guess. That was but so crazy. I helped uh, you load it up in San Diego. Yep, still appreciate that. Over all two that. years ago, and now you finally got it set up. <laughs> yep, two And now it's only ago. been two months. Uh, it's been set up this way for two months. Two months right here, yep. Super duper cool, man. I thought it was going to be a whole lot more raw, but um, it looks great. Yeah, you turn off. It's a camera, man. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, it looks real great. You know, I see you got a lot of uh, used corals that you're kind of shuffling around. Um, so I'm gonna need some little bit of organization, but otherwise they're looking pretty good, man. Well, thanks, dude. Very cool. And uh, let's take a look here at this Nano. Got this Nano. Is this in line with the other two? Yeah, tank? it's plumbed in. So I think that was uh, part of the reason that this one got going so quickly. Is because it's this has been going for three years, about like uh, just like that. So. All right. But, you know, we're, we're gonna revisit your tank when it's um, uh, blossoming, right? Oh yeah. Uh, but just for now, just telling us some of the basic Could equipment. You got Radeon, um, Gen 3 yeah, Pro. a lot of Ecotech stuff. All the, uh, they're all Gen 3s, not uh, Gen XR15, Gen yep. 3 Pro. Yep. Two XR30, Gen 3 Pros. You got diffusers on both of them. How do you like the Correct. diffusers? Um, the diffusers, I haven't so far noticed a huge difference in the coral, but the look of the tank um, is definitely a little nicer. If I take it off, they pop right off, which is also nice to clean them. You can definitely see there's a lot more like almost disco ball effect right there, so. Yeah. So um, what do you got in the sump? Down here we've got um, two heaters on the right hand side here next to the auto uh, top off reservoir. Carbon reactor plumbed in down here. I've got a Castle H360. Yeah, something. <laughs> the water culture I got one? it at Magna, so I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it's growing some some Kato and... And you've got a manifold on your return? Yep. Oh man, I love manifolds. That's the way to go for sure. And I think the uh, empty spot there hopefully will be like for a calcium reactor someday. Is that the uh, Quantum 160? 160, yeah. Damn, I'm one, good. I didn't even <laughs> look at it that hard. 120 is the small one. So. you got a lot of biopellets, man. I don't I don't use that much biopellets. Those look a little fresh. They, uh, Yeah, they're only about a week old. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> have you used biopellets much? Uh, I ran them for about a year. That's why I have a lot in there is because they have never really noticed a huge difference with them. So I kind of just have been dumping more and more in there, <laughs> hoping that they'll do something. But right. no, I think uh, compared to dumping a little bit of vodka in there, uh, I don't know how effective they are. So I thought, I'm trying not to let show all the paraphernalia. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I was coming here to pick up a, a 72 buff front, but it's a little bit too crusty. It's gonna be a lot of work. So I, I passed on that. But homie has a bunch of loose frags and one nice big used coral. I'm actually really, really excited. It's a big old toadstool. Looks like sad over here in no man's land, but it's actually a big old green, like a Denver green polyp leather, right? Yep, I oh, believe so. Man, I can't wait. I have nothing but room. We're gonna give him some love. Awesome. Cool, man. Well, I know your tank is not, uh, again, showcase is not it's not like a showcase tank yet yeah but it'll be cool for people to see kind of the progress here oh yeah come back in a year or two it'll be uh oh it won't take that long man killer. i think if you dial up your your salinity the raise your ph been out, of, out of whack a little I mean, bit this lately, tank for be sure freaking crazy in like two or three months yeah just as long as you pay attention to it <laughs> as you're, while you're it. while it's snow season going on <laughs> yeah as long as i don't ski too much well you will do that but don't yeah, don't neglect yeah. your tank <laughs> So um, I just kind of want to share one piece of advice and learn from Evan's mistake. Um, it's an honest one to make because we both uh, we came back from DIA really freaking late. So tell us what you did. Uh, well, if we look at this frag rack right here. Well, you... Tell us what you did and then we'll look at the frag rack. Uh, well, before I left uh, Vegas, I put a bunch of the corals that I got the frags in one of those uh, TSA approved little transport containers. 
Um, a little carry container yeah, with three printed carriage. Yeah, I fill it all the way up. They, it, it'll hold about 12 corals. I think I only had about eight in there. But even so, so I, you, you know, I got corals homes. in there. Yeah, and then I got home real late, and they all looked good. They survived the, the trip home, and, you know, through TSA and the flight and all that. But then it was like 1.30 in the morning, so I just went to bed. I floated them in my sump. But you also had a handful of individually bagged corals. Correct, yeah. So I had some that were in little three-ounce jars, and then one that was in a bag. And all of those are still looking good, but all the ones that were collected, or in the uh, collective container... So Just basically, the, yeah. the, the live ones, there's my finger, there's my finger. <laughs> the live ones were individually packaged, individually bagged, yep. and they were fine overnight. And then the dead and dying ones were the, were the ones that were kind of crowded in the, uh, crowded in the, uh, the, the custom carry thing. Yeah, I'd say if you use one of those little custom carry containers, you know, put them in there, fly home, and then immediately do something with them when you get Corals home. Corals are hardy. They're really forgiving, but don't take it for granted that they'll just take anything. And that was a super honest mistake. We just want to share with you guys um, so that you know for the future, you know, don't pack those carry containers. Just because the corals fit doesn't mean there's enough oxygen in there. And that's, uh, that was the only thing. Just didn't have enough oxygen. That's didn't it. Have the flow, yeah. um, so, so really cool, man. Well, uh, I am excited to pick up uh, this big green toadstool, take it down a mountain. Yeah, oh, it'll, do do. it'll get even bigger, I think, for oh, you. Dude, that thing is going to bloom so fast. So it'll hard. take a whole tank. And we'll can. be sure to like, uh, you know, schedule a return to Eben's Mountain Reef uh, when it's ready. Maybe towards the end of the year. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Um, good to Christmas see you again, Evan. Yeah, good to see you. So it was a fun surprise, uh, heading up the mountain. I really needed some of that fresh air, some sunshine, see some beautiful scenery, and uh, to go over to Evan's house to uh, pick up a, a new used tank and come back with some used corals instead, some nice big used coral, uh, was really, really cool. I am gonna come back at you guys very soon, very soon, with a full progress report on the studio. Uh, what I've accomplished and what I still need to get done. And uh, yeah, so in the meantime, I'm gonna put these corals away and we'll definitely, uh, you know what, let me take a look, let me show you what I got. So here's the bucket of corals I got. Here's a big leather coral, a Montipora, another hammer and some zoanthids from my house and some plain old orange cap. And then finally, I just wanna show you my staging tank where I actually put a couple of uh, of statues from Mr. Derek Hopkins that I pick up at Magna. I popped some, uh, some zoanthids on them and uh, they look pretty, really good. So you, I hope you enjoyed this super casual update, uh, this super casual vlog of me driving up to the mountains and just uh, communing with a fellow reefer. I'm gonna put these corals away. Like I said, and come back at you with a progress report of what's going on in the studio and show you the corals that I got once they're open up. So thanks again for tuning in. I'll catch you guys very, very soon.